I am really cross with her, especially about last time. <clears throat> I'm just worried about her. I'm worried about keeping her safe. I lost four siblings already, and even if we grow stronger. So do the threats. It doesn't really matter, does it? Papa Misa isn't here either. I know we ended well, but... But he wasn't happy, neither with himself nor with me. Oh, don't say that, Cheyenne. trying to do the right things but then I am always to be blamed <sighs> it's part of growing up kid it's part of growing up unfortunately you never know you could be doing the right thing or not trying to protect your daughter like trying to protect your son I'm, I'm doing the same thing I'm trying to do my best here you're trying to protect your siblings And you're right, there there are new threats. There are new threats and this just seems like it does seem like it's it's all futile, it's all pointless. But I can assure you it's not. It's not that it's not the case, alright? It's not the case. It's always worth it, okay. I was the egg that woke up before we left. And no one took me really serious. Everyone downplayed how I felt. Well, they listen to you, right? And all the eggs got the books and the threats. And we all decided to leave. We come back and suddenly it is, well, Cheyenne. <clears throat> Say we would we'd leave. So we followed him. So it is me, huh? It's difficult being a leader, Cheyenne, I know. And Tallulah doesn't want to stay with us, so she is mad.
at me because I couldn't keep the promise and I can't fix it. Now Tio Forever is going insane. You know, I asked Tula what to say to you. she said we say nothing so I had her back and said nothing She turns around and told you anyway. And suddenly it is Cheyenne told all his siblings to keep quiet. Wait, who was saying that? Nobody, I didn't say that. I'm really tired of it. I'm sorry, Chan. I'm sorry that you have to go through this shit. <laughs> Don't care, bro. Damn. And no, she is God knows where and I am worried. Now she's God knows where and I'm worried. So now what? <sighs> we go find her. <clears throat> we go find her, Cheyenne. All right. That's what family does. You stick by each other. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go to the nest, I don't care. I'll, re I'll reclaim it. Workers attack me, so be it. I want to build. And farm and just don't have to think about it. <sighs> Listen, Cheyenne. When it comes down to it. Your siblings see you as a leader. Now I know you're just a kid. But you're strong. 